Hello, and welcome to Rex Gaming Days. I'm Rex Retro, and this is Rex Play World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck on the Sega Mega Drive. Now, this here is actually one of my favourite Mickey Mouse games. Um, I know not as much Disney as Wolfie. I'll say that for I'll say that for sure. But I know a fair amount at Disney, like I've watched Hercules, um, Aladdin, uh, Mickey and the Beanstalk, which was one of my favourite Mickey Mouse movies, actually. Um, and several thousand others, like Lion King and all that. I've watched um, a bunch of others as well. But this here is World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Now, um, I'm, uh, you know, I quickly do a bit of dialogue for you. <clears throat> One night, Mickey and Donald were practicing for their big magic act. One of the magic tricks surprised Donald, and he fell backward, tipping over some scenery. Behind the scenery was a mysterious magic box with a drawn curtain. Uh, I can't do a Donald Duck voice, so... Uh, oh boy, if it works, we can use this in our magic act, said Donald. Oh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, replied Mickey, noticing a strange glow behind the curtain. Yeah, this is bad voice acting, do apologise, but hey. But he was too late, Donald had already stepped inside. Poof, the curtain fluttered and Donald disappeared. Mickey stepped inside uh, to inspect the box and poof, he disappeared too. Booming laughter echoed as Mickey and Donald fell through the darkness and an evil voice said, You are good magicians in your world. But here in my world of magic, you will have to learn many more tricks to find your way home. If you can find and defeat me, I will show you a way out of this magic box. So, that is the storyline for the game. And uh, I'm just doing this one player. And I'll be Mickey. And start. Right. Now, as I say, this is uh, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And you will see lots of Disney references, like I'm sure you're probably pointing out now at the screen. Um, so as I say, this is one of my favourite Mickey Mouse games, if not my absolute favourite Mickey Mouse game. So definitely, uh, definitely better than um, oh, what was it, Epic Mickey? Definitely better than that. Uh, one of the reasons I love this game, um, ironically, something I won't be able to show you here, is uh, the way it does two-player co-op mode. Right. It's two-player cart mode that this game does is absolutely brilliant because you get to areas like this where um, I've got a thing and I jump on this goes across. In the two-player mode, the weight isn't on the other side, and so you have to work together as Mickey and Donald to get across it. So one goes on one end, the other goes on the other, and then when it gets up, you have to uh, drop down a rope um, for your partner. Oh. That was the wrong button, and I've messed up already, haven't I? That was the wrong button. Let's try that again. Um, so yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons I love this game, is how well the co-op works. Which, as I say, ironically, I won't be able to show you in this uh, Rex play, because I'm playing it one player. Um, maybe uh, one day I'll speak to uh, one of the others, like Sam Shaw, or Umbrella, or Wolfie, and ask if uh, one of those can join me on uh, a Rex play, a co-op Rex play of this game. Because um, the two-player version has got some extra levels in it as well. So there's actually... Uh, it's one of those things. This game was definitely designed for two players. It wasn't really designed as a one-player game. It works as a one-player game as well, as you can see. Um, going through the levels, as you can see, it does work as a one-player game. And it's still quite a fun game. But... Um, is it this one? No, it's not these leaves. Uh, sorry, i um, talking to myself there, but you'll understand when I do get to a right leaf, which isn't any of those ones. Anyway, um, but yeah, so it's it's just one of those things. Um, I think this is one. No? Yes? No, it isn't. Dang it. Uh, it's been a little while since I've played this game. Ah, there we go. There's one. That's the kind of thing I was looking for. Some of these give off uh, leaves like that as extra platforms, which you can then use to get items, like these cards, which I don't entirely know what they do. The sweets restore your health, I remember that much. Because um, as always, whenever you're playing a side-scrolling platform or on a Mega Drive, you definitely need to remember what the health is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyway, I, um, 
I don't think I've said this yet, so I'd like to quickly apologise for the lack of videos, because I know it's been about two months since I last updated, I think it's been, and that was obviously with uh, Paper Mario, uh, which obviously uh, I am still doing, don't worry. It's just, um, I'd like to go into this, a uh, uh, couple of things that have caused the delay. One is that um, me and Wolfie have entered our third and final year of university, and as you can imagine, what with dissertation and everything else, uh, it's a bit hectic, and finding some like five minutes to ourselves to do Let's Plays is um, increasingly uh, more difficult now. Um, so unfortunately, uh, that has uh, put a delay on it, so I do apologise. As well as that, my laptop has recently, um, well, not it's seen better days. Um, it's broken quite... I mean, I, I'm actually still using the laptop I'm talking about at the moment, to be honest with you. Uh, but I've actually had to replace my laptop. And uh, so I've now got a brand new laptop that I just got about three days ago, four days ago. Uh, which, was, uh, which has Windows 8 on it. Uh, so I've gone over to that now. Um, which, uh, ironically, I was trying to reinstall Pinnacle on earlier on. Uh, which is the recording software that I use. And, uh, yeah, it's just not working. So I've contacted the company to try and find out why. Because I can't really use this laptop anymore. Um, it's, I, I mean, I think I did a virus scan on it um, two weeks ago. And it found about 60 viruses. And then the malware scan found about 40 pieces of malware. So that's how badly it is. Uh, how much uh, of a bad shape it is in virus and malware-wise. Um... But as well as that, uh, hello spider, um, it's not just the, uh, that that's um, doing it, it's, oh, sorry, trying to talk whilst fighting off against a giant spider, actually quite difficult. Um, but yeah, so as well as all of that, it's, um, yeah, it, the laptop itself, I mean, I've had a chunk of the laptop has actually come off, uh, the bottom left hand chunk of the laptop has come off and the internals are actually exposed. I don't know how that's happened. I really don't. My only guess is that um, it's where I've been uh, going to and from university with my laptop. I mean, I've got it in a laptop carry case, uh, which is in my backpack, but it doesn't seem to do too well on protecting it. Inside the chest, there is an ancient manuscript describing great magic. If you say the magic word, Alakazam, and then press any one of the buttons, a flying carpet will appear. To control the carpet, hold down the jump button to fly up. If jump is not pressed, the carpet will descend. Use the direction pad to control your movement. Um, but yeah, so, um... Uh... Oh, this looks like a good time to try out that new magic! How look as I am! There we go. Uh, so yeah. As I said, my Mickey Mouse impression is terrible. I know it's terrible. Oh. It's also terrible that I just went right into that bit of twister. But yes, yeah, so my laptop is in a real bad state at the moment. So I'm trying to transfer everything over to the new laptop, which has taken me the past few days to do, actually. Um, and then when I've tried transferring over the Pinnacle software, it, as, I said, as I said earlier, it's just not letting me install it. I honestly don't know why. I've contacted the company to try and find out. So I'm just waiting for them to get back to me. Um, so I can hopefully get on with, um, what the heck, uh, so I can hopefully carry on with uh, doing a Red's Play of Paper Mario and some other Red's Plays for you. Um, as well as that, obviously, still at university and um, in third year, that all finishes May. I think I think my dissertation's in like May 14th or something. Seventh. And 7th for Wolfie, is that, yeah? And 7th for Wolfie. <laughs> Don't remind you. Uh, uh, seventh for Wolfie, so we've got that going on. Um, so hopefully everything should. Uh, so hopefully things won't get too hectic, and I'll be able to do some more uh, for you, like some more Rex plays and such. But um, it's obviously university has to come first, I'm afraid. So oh, Boulder. And now the floor's falling in on me. Um, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Uh, not going to make it. Not going to make it. <laughs> oh, crap, 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 crap. And safe. That's all right. Um, 
but yeah, so that's how that's going. Um, and so I will... Oh, crap. This is all going to fall apart. I will carry on with uh, Paper Mario. I have, by all means, I have not stopped on that. <laughs> yeah, um, as Wolfie just said, uh, when I've uh, when we've been relaxing a little bit um, I, and just been too knackered to do anything, um, she's introduced me to the first Paper Mario on the N64. Um, it's quite interesting, I must say. Um, haven't had time to go through and complete it yet, obviously. Ah. I'm going to keep missing that platform, I swear. The partner's 50 times better. The partner's 50 times better, do you think? Mm. I'm trying to remember what my partners were on the second one. <laughs> it's been a while. Flurry. Oh, yeah, I've got Flurry. Um, I don't know. That's one of the things I've got. Gumbaria? Ah, there we go. No. Yeah, I'll, uh, something like that. Gumbaria? I, um, I don't know. Boop. Um, wow. Wow, that was an that was an epic fail there. I just completely I'm, missed a fail. I don't think calling by numbers is going to help, Bird Wolfie. Even oh, I'm going crazy. Uh, uh, I just keep falling off now. I I don't know why. I know it's been a while since I've played no, this. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know what it is. I mean. I just keep falling off these clouds, and I know it's oh been a while. God. I know it's been a while since I've played it. That reminds me of another game. I just killed the cloud I was standing on. You know, I'm just gonna continue, and like we're gonna pretend that that never happened. That level reminds me of another game. Yeah, I'm gonna continue and pretend that that never happened, because I. I think it's funny. You should make you do a blind let's play for Zelda game. Why is Zelda? Oh, I've got to do the magic bit again. Why is Zelda game? I already played. I already played one Zelda game for you, not on this channel, obviously. But I've played one Zelda game for you. Yeah, Wolfie put me on a link to past ages ago, and um, yeah, that was fun. I'm playing. Um... Uh, yeah, you're I'm playing. I'm playing Link Between Worlds now. I've got pretty. Yeah, you're playing Link Between Worlds now, aren't you? And. Um... Yeah, we got a Wii U for Christmas. Um, we could actually let's play on that. I think. I think. Let's yeah. play what? <laughs> I don't know. We haven't got any games for it yet. Um, I'm waiting for Yoshi's Epic Yarn. Call it. No, that's Kirby's Epic Yarn. One game. Yeah, Yoshi's I, I, Woolly World. Even. I am debating whether it's worth me getting Sonic Boom or not. Uh, Sonic Boom is a good game. I'm debating whether it's worth me getting Sonic Boom or not. A uh, big part of me is saying no. Don't bother. Remember the old Sonic, the actual decent one. Uh, I'm really horrible. Why would you buy that? Yeah, well, well that's what I was going to say. The other part of me, it's like loyalty to Sega Sorry, kind of thing. Sorry, that's my opinion, not the channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the other I'll clarify that now. Yeah, the, the other part of me is sitting there going like loyalty to Sega and Sonic, you know, but then I don't think... Uh, I think with what they've been releasing, it's not been loyalty to us, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but... I could sit here all day going... I, like, I, don't, I don't love Sonic, but I like Sonic. And I'm so hard my swearing, pissed off. Yeah. Like, Butchered it. Character. Oh, let's make Knuckles. <clears throat> yeah, Knuckles has just become some kind of a freaking bodybuilder. I, I He's don't know. Champ in like yeah. Sonic form. He's my champ just with two arms. Um, Not so cool. being a choke. Uh, yeah. Now <laughs> I, I know what you mean. It's it's just a bit. Tails made sense with the goggles, like the aviator kind of steampunk yeah. look. Yeah. No. That's I... the kind of look I think they're trying to go for. I'm gonna see what happens if I just fall that down. That makes all of those. sense. I moved the platform. I didn't know that thing could move. That's the experiment you'll never be doing again. It's like I showed uh, you that um, the ghost and the sunken ghost ship on Super Mario World. Yeah, oh, yeah, you showed me that YouTube oh, video, didn't you? Oh, let's put booze in water because we're horrible bastards at Nintendo. Why would you do that? Because reasons. It's like I've been, playing, I've been playing the um, Luigi U. Luigi U. Or whatever you fucking call it. The, the oh, Brothers, yeah, the Mario Bros. U. Luigi, uh, Luigi version. Gee whiz, it's hard. Gee whiz, sir. It is actually um, surprisingly difficult. Like, <laughs> is it really? I, I honestly it haven't um, had a chance There yet, was so. a... Don't quote me 100%, it's only played about a month or so. But <laughs> there was like this section where basically you had a um, winding platform. Right. And if you managed to get it off by a couple of seconds, it would crush you instantly. Oh, fun. And I was just like, well, <laughs> someone's a jerk somewhere. Ah, uh, uh, son of a... Oh. 
Pouch, what do you remind me of something? It's bugging me. I honestly don't know. Oh, I've been playing DuckTales as well. Yeah, because uh, plays the PSN, wasn't it? You got it for free. Yeah, we got a. Uh, brilliant game, but it's hard as we, shit. Yeah, we don't just have old consoles. We have some of the new ones. Ah, oh, dang it! I did not get the magic hat. We have some of the uh, new ones as well, and uh, obviously got PlayStation Network, and uh, they've been doing some pretty good stuff for free. Well, I think the last game you and me completed, like two player, was Epic Mickey Two. Yeah, as I was just saying at the beginning. As I was just saying at the beginning of this uh, video. No, uh, yeah, ironically, the Epic Mickey was nowhere near as good as this. Epic es Mickey one's fantastic. Especially the two-player co-op in Epic Mickey is crap. Epic Mickey two. Yeah, Epic Epic Mickey two. The two-player co-op in it is absolutely crap. Epic Mickey one's a lot better. Yeah, well, I I'm just saying that. I mean, the co-op in this is brilliant. Right, I what? You, I I'm loving the Fantasia style theme in Epic Mickey one. Yeah. yeah. I I'm having to deal with right. a thing. Let's see if anybody else agrees. That's Mad Mad Mims Dragon. Is that is that Mad? Or is that Peach Dragon? I don't know. It, yeah, uh, wasn't Peach Dragon green? It's got green and pink hair. No, it's just got pink hair and purple body. So is, I don't know anymore. I get a mix. Is this Mad Madam Min's dragon? That that's the question does being she asked. Have a uh, yeah, yeah, she does she have does. a dragon form. Because. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, dang it! I like kill you. Got it. Because Ellie at the dragon, if I remember correctly, was. Green all over with I think hair? so. I, I can't remember. I don't know. It's not really one I've watched. I that seen one. That movie since I was like 10. That's not one I've watched. So. Inside the know. chest, there is an ancient manuscript describing great magic. If you say the magic word, Alakazam, and then press any one of the button, uh, buttons, a magic bubble will appear. To Wait, control what? the bubble, hold down the jump button to float up and use the direction pad to control your movement. To, if jump is not pressed, the bubble will sink. Crap, I traded my Abra Yes, you traded your Abra again. Hit. <laughs> Here it goes, nothing! Well, that was even worse than my other uh, versions earlier. Don't try it, yeah. Yeah, I know, I, that's why I chose Mickey. It's slightly easier to do, do than Donald. Whoever invented lacto free milk is my friend. <laughs> Whoever invented lacto free milk is your friend. Mm -hmm. uh, silly lacto free paper mache wolfie. Is that literally I'm... a tiger fish? Yes, that is a tiger fish. <laughs> it is a tiger that is a fish. It oh, is a tiger. Is that Pinocchio? I don't know. It might be. It's been a very long time since I've seen Pinocchio. Same here, so I wasn't a big fan of Pinocchio as a kid. It was alright, but it was kind of eh. Because, um, oh crap. Crap, 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 Tigerfish. Oh. See, I used to know my Disney references really well, and then university got into my brain, and suddenly it's gone. I think you still know them better than me. <laughs> I know some of them. Although that just looks weird. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> that just looks really Actually, weird. Actually, think about it. Sword and, the, is it Sword and the Stone? Sword and Stone, yeah. What about it? Give me some. You're not about the bit where they get turned into fish, are you? I love that. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm... No, that's just a river thing. Yeah. No, no, I think it's something like different, but never mind. I've got it mixed up with something else. Okay. Actually, yeah, it's surprisingly a underrated Disney movie, Treasure Planet. That's a good movie. Yeah, we watched that. A I had to watch that for my dissertation. It's steampunk, and my god, it was good. Yeah, no, that was quite a good little movie. Amazing oh, CGI crap. for its day. Yeah, that was quite good. I was quite generally pleased with that. Oh, I just it was went straight. Treasure Island. Well, I just went straight into a spike. See that? That's that's one thing. Not only is oh, it a water. Distracting. Well, no, it's not only is it. A... Oh, damn it! Not only is it a water level. It's a water level with spikes. I mean, Have you seen the Mario War levels? They're horrible. Pardon me? Yeah? Oh, yeah, I suppose they are. Oh, yeah, let's put bloopers and cheap cheap uh, Okay, you want, you want to say about horrible water levels... They I'll... put a bullet bill in one of the water levels. No. Oh, fuck that. If you want to say about horrible water levels, I've got, uh, I've got uh, two words for you. Labyrinth zone. Oh, <laughs> All <No>. right. <laughs> that word is forbidden and it's flat. <laughs> then again, you know... Oh, crap, 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 crap! <laughs> tigerfish, tigerfish, tigerfish! And again, you know what game did some really horrible water levels? Echo. Echo the Dolphin and Echo the Dolphin 2, Tides of Time. I wish to find that game designer, go up to him, top, well, tip my imaginary top hat and go, you're a fucking genius. Then yeah, I, I've got Echo the Dolphin, but I don't think I'll ever let's play it, because I just suck at it. Oh, and I've got Tides of Time octopus. coming. Octopus. Yeah, yeah, that's like one of the first things you deal with. He used to drive me potty. Oh, do you know what I've seen some people on the internet do? Go on. Deliberately get hit so they've got the invincibility bit in between. 
then run for his tentacles? See, I can I can deal with octopus tentacle thing, which kind of sounds like a wrong statement to say, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. I can... Yeah, they're following enemies, but and you got to, uh, but the other thing is they kind of block your path at the same time, so you got to lure them out. So that you can get past oh, them and stuff. Oh, right. That's just cool. That's like I was playing um, James Pond the other day. Ah, uh, oh, son of a... Well, um, look, I just went that way to get an extra life, so... I was playing James Pond the other helpful. day. On yeah. the SNES. And um, there was this particular enemy. I don't know what the devil was supposed to be. Insert creature here. Mm. But it was a lock-on enemy. And it oh, didn't right. me a long. See, the only James Pond game I've played... Is uh, James? The yeah, one, yeah, James Pond Aquatic Olympics or whatever. That it is. Game is terrible. It's brilliant, actually. I really like that one. Kirby games you play? Kirby. Um, I don't know. Not many. I played that two or three. Uh, as, I can't uh, like Kirby. No, I, I, I've played one of the ones on the Super Nintendo. I've only ever played them on emulator. I've never actually played the, the proper thing. Think it might have been something like that. I played. Um, I think it's called. Cool. In 64, I think it's like Crystal Shards or something. I can't remember the title. I honestly don't know. I know, insert title here. Nintendo's your zone, not mine. Yeah, I can't remember the title. I've, I've not seen it for years. The cartridges are at home. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I think I lost it, actually. It was like <laughs> my my dad had to get it as an American import because it was such a pain of bum to find here. Yeah. But we have Cogs by Third Day at home. That game's Yeah, genius. American import, yeah, again. Oh my goodness, that game is hysterical. Never not played it. The, um, well... Not for people who like don't like crude humour. It's quite crude and quite. I have a game called Boogerman: A Pick and Flick Adventure. Yeah, right. but I'm talking about like <laughs> just Boogerman: A Pick and Flick Adventure. I played Pokemon's <laughs> Birthday Day when I was 14, mm. and I replayed it as an adult, and I suddenly got half of the jokes in the game. No, oh and I was just like, "Wow, how did that get around censorship?" Fishies. I say again, I have Boogerman a Pick and Flick Adventure. That's a terrible title. It's a brilliant game, but it's just bloody oh my weird. Goodness, that reminds me of Sonic. <laughs> what, Marble Zone? No, um, what's the name of that level? I think it's in Sonic 3. Mm. Aqua Ruins or something? Oh, the Aqua Ruins. Torpedo Sharks. Oh, that's, and yeah. When you have to grip onto that's the. That's like the second level. Yeah, when you have to grip onto. That's a third level. When you no, have to grip onto like the wooden panel things and go up the screen before you dive into the spikes and stuff like that. Yeah, I the think. One is fifty that... times millions easier as tails. I think it's free. Yeah, that'd be Sonic Three. I think. Oh. Yeah, mind you that. Dang it! Dang it! Yeah, I, I just went and killed yeah, myself. This is, this is me. I don't know Sonic level names very well. She doesn't know Sonic very well. How, I know how bad it, is that? Right. You can tell she grew up with Nintendo. Oh yeah. No, she only knows bad games. No. Um, <laughs> I'm one of those dorky people who can tell a Mario level by music. Well, there you go. See, I, I, I'm a Sega person through and through. I can tell you the Mario enemies by name as well. And Zelda. I'm sad. Okay, I've named half of my Pokemon on Pokemon Omega Ruby after uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Badniks. I have a, a Beedrill called uh, Buzz Bummer. Oh, by the way, I've got Plastic Corner. I can't. I need to go level for the Elite Four and Omega um, Ruby. Bloody call it. That only ever happens to you. That it's really because does. Because I'm just like, oh yeah, the, these oh, Pokemon son are of great. A... Where are they? And but but dude, the um. Awesome, How is it? Was it Contrary Superior? Contrary Superior um, and the, uh, Reckless uh, Reckless Embor. <sighs> yeah, if you don't have those yet, you've got Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. Then. Um, Type, go into Mystery Gift, redeem code, type in Pokemon 497, and that will be a uh, Superior with the hidden ability of Contrary. Superior's gone. Um, no, I think it's yeah, still available. No, but it was. Superior was limited to the 30th of January, I do believe. Yeah. And now it's just Embor, and then it's going to be Samurott. They were all limited for a certain time period. Yeah, but according to the things I've read, it says that Embor's uh, available until like November 20th. Oh, well, there you go. So that, it, that it might have been a miss. Um, that's tri that's a, Tritons. Yeah, it's a that's a little mermaid reference. But son of a, it's a pain in the backside because they go off at different times. Really? Because I read on um. Yeah, I think it's it was Cerebi. I've read. Sorry, um, but it was different. I don't know anymore. Neither do I. I but we got our Eon ticket. Yes. Yeah, we got our Eon ticket. Uh, uh, 
son of a... Someone at university left their um, DS on, 3DS on. So we In their dorms, ticket. yeah. <laughs> it's like, campus spreads the Eon ticket everywhere. No, exactly. But no, <laughs> Apparently uh, I did it for like two weeks and everybody on campus got it. Yeah, well, when we've been setting up the store and the... I'm just going to keep getting hit by those. When we've been setting up and storing the campus, I'm going to take my 3DS with me to make sure to pass it around to everybody else. Why so. not? Yeah, every time I go yeah. out... Well, one thing you're doing from now on, every time we go out into London, London, I'm thinking of turning my 3DS on. I always do anyway. Yeah, it's just so you can spread it, because... What was it? We're going to do the Eon Ticket competition, but not actually do it in London. Yeah, no, it was a thing of, we're going to do the Eon Ticket competition, uh, and the prize and, that, and all of that gets done in London. It's only available to people outside of London because the closest station. I mean, we live in the middle of London. Well, we live in East London, the edge, London yeah. uh, East, uh, edge London, and I think the closest station to us for the on ticket competition would have taken us two and a half hours. Three. It was like two and a half to three hours to get to by train. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It's like, it but yet, mm. yet the uh, flipping. Place that it was all being done, like the place where Four they were giving out. Away. It wasn't even that. I think it was like half an hour away, which I think it was like Oxford. I think it was Oxford Street or something. No, it was. Not far. Yeah, it wasn't far at all. It was absolutely rubbish all away. Yeah. Absolutely oh. jack away. Uh, those swordfish are really cutting it close. Oh, Dios. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Boss music. Do, 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 do. Shark! Is that who I think it is? It's just a shark. I I, I don't know. If it, I don't. I, I highly doubt it's Shark's Tale. This is a little bit. Um, <laughs> predates that. Yeah, I think this predates it by a little bit. It's Bruce. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fish are our friend, not food. <laughs> but little... Oh no, that's the shark from Little Mermaid. How do you know this stuff? Uh, well, I am doing really bad. Um, I okay. I have a confession. Got another was... confession to make. Are you Sorry. making food fighters jokes? Seriously. Yes. Um, Why wouldn't we? Dave Grohl rocks. I was incredibly so bored the, the other week. Gone. And I didn't want to do my work, so I watched Little Mermaid. Okay. That's one way of doing it. I hadn't seen it since I was like... Oh. This is really annoying because on this recording software, or it might just be because of this laptop, it keeps on not showing me the sprites on the screen. Oh, that's... Whoa. Gotcha. Right, and yeah. Oh. Ah. That's so, Swift. Yeah. I think that's why it keeps on like hitting me, because it's using Swift. Ha <laughs> ha terrible joke. Doesn't miss. What did so. we found out the other day? Like, there was some Pokemon move. It was something... Oh, was it? Growth was like double the stats in sunlight or something bizarre. Something like that. Hey! I killed Bruce. Because all we, cause we're talking about weather, uh, weather conditions in Pokemon. Yeah. Mm. I killed Bruce. <laughs> Inside the chest, there is an ancient manuscript describing great magic. I bet I know what word it's going to be. If you say Alakazam, and then press any one of the buttons, you'll be transported to another box. Wow, their writers are so imaginative. Yeah, it's been Alakazam every freaking time so far. That's, oh. that's the Pinocchio reference. Is that what those goldfish are? Alright, okay. It's uh, Cleo. Cleo? I think that's the correct name for the fish, Cleo. I honestly Please haven't. Please correct got... me. <laughs> I honestly yeah, haven't got. Pinocchio a... level. Is this Pinocchio? Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't know that kind of thing. I'm just pathetic. I'm sure. You are pathetic. But, I yeah. love my Disney. I even do Disney pin trading. She does. She's got a crap ton of figment stuff. Yep, I love figment. And for people who don't know who that is, it's Epcot and Walt Disney World's mascot. It's a purple dragon. And it's Son adorable, a... and I've adored him since I was five. That's a good 20 years. <laughs> I wouldn't believe that she's actually English and grew up in England, would you? <laughs> Me? English? I'm in the sugar cube jar. That's adorable. You're adorable. Oh, <laughs> oh I nicked that from Super Mario Bros. How How would you know that? Because in Super, Ma in Super... Maybe Super Mario Bros. nicked it from them. Oh, tish tosh. What year was this game released? 92. Super Mario Bros. 3 was earlier than that. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at you with your Basically, Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, yeah. Super Mario Bros. <laughs> sorry. 2 or 3. Yeah. 3. They have these little blocks. They've got feet on them. And they jump on top of I you. Think I'll, uh, I think my new trick will come in handy now. It was 3. It's like these blocks that jump on you. And then they got... 
you might have seen them in like the modern Mario games, like these fire mm. snake things. I forget what they call them. <sighs> fire snake things. It's like a basically a really long embered creature ah! that resembles a snake. It's in the wing. I can't remember what they're called. A really long embered creature that. I think they're. I think they're in. Um... No, wrong game. Mad. No, I must admit, Paper Mario taught me an awful lot of the uh, Mario enemy names. Did an awful it? Lot. Yeah, and some of them I know, in general. Oh, crap. But some of the ones that not, like, you know, ones you just look at and go, what the is that? That's what I was just saying, uh, thinking about that thing. Hmm? The frick was it? The thing that I just killed. It's like a stapler. No, uh, no, the... Yeah. That's an ink... Yeah, that's an ink roller. Ink block. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it is. That's a pen. That's a fountain pen, yeah. For some reason. That fountain pen's dark. That's quite hysterical. It, it's a fountain pen woodpecker thing, I, I think. Must I must admit, know. you have to give Disney that. They do come up with some quite creative. Sometimes. Sometimes, and other times they ruin your childhood. Like with that Power Rangers video I saw earlier. Oh, the Aladdin things from the other day. Let's talk about that on YouTube. But yeah, that was just. The Aladdin thing from the other day? When know. Aladdin goes to that building, I've never understood why I was swimming. Oh god, god yeah, him. that. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. Oh my god. Tumblr. Yeah, something that came up on Facebook about. Tumblr, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a Tumblr post that came up on Facebook about um, Aladdin that. Was it somebody said uh, that they didn't understand why when Aladdin went into that room for the girls, didn't understand why the girls didn't like him. And somebody pointed out that it was a whorehouse and he was poor. And uh, like it was a brothel and he was poor. And they're like, oh, okay, wait, what? It was a brothel? <laughs> Disney, yeah. putting subtle hints in since we were children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's loads of them. Like, seriously, rewatch Toy Story as an adult. You'll never just. What? And what? Where Andy finds out about his mum's toys, also called Buzz and Woody. No! Just. <laughs> sorry. Was it, um, sorry, sorry, yeah. childhood ruin there. No, uh, this Woody and Bo Peep. Gee whiz. Oh, yeah, that's why is that a. Thing, isn't I? Oh, I know that, but I didn't realise it was that heavily... Into the cookie implied. jar! Mm. I, I'm trying to think, is, was that supposed to be a Mickey and the Beanstalk reference? The fact that everything's massive and Mickey's small? I recognise the sweet... Oh, this is an old... Uh, Merry Melody cartoon? What the hell is Merry Melodies? An old Disney cartoon series. I studied animation. I blame that. That's her excuse. She's really just a Disney geek. No, I did. I learned it on animation. Yeah, but you are just a Disney no, geek. No, my tutor was a Disney geek. Oh, and you're going to try and tell me and everybody else on YouTube that you're not a Disney geek. I Disney. Oh my god, it's an Oreo pancake thing. Yay, description fail. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a description fail. Oreo <laughs> pancake, pancake thing. thing. In Walt Disney World, they have Mickey Mouse pancakes. They're fucking awesome. They're not exactly hard to and make. And they have Mickey ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Mickey ice cream, cream sandwiches. Ice cream sandwiches. Ice cream in between bread. No, it's ice cream. <laughs> oh, that's nice. No, it's um, ice cream between two cookies. Ice cream between two cookies. Yeah, that sounds lovely. You did that? Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, what, what? I just thought we don't get them here, so yeah. Of course we don't get them here. We're in England. We're boring in England. Oh, no, it's a waffle monster. Actually, do you know what it looks like? Do you have a judge from Pinkwood the Wall? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like an arse and a pair of bollocks. No, it's the face. Just a pointy face. Can't like... Ironically, oh. I went down there to get the extra bit of health and I lost a bit of health doing it. What was the point? Ah, oh, crap. What was the point in doing it, eh? It was like, um, not many people know that the same guy who drew the artwork for Pinkwood the Wall actually did the artwork for Disney's Hercules. Yeah, Gerald Scarf. He's did, awesome. Yeah. Hence why Hades looks a bit... Well, yeah. It's more like hence why... Um, pain and Panic. And pain and Panic. Uh, which, which one's the fat one? Is it Pain? Uh, I think... No, I think Pain's the skinny one. Panic's the little one. I uh, think. I think. I yeah, no, no. The Pain's the skinny one, yeah. That's mm. why Panic looks like the judge from um, uh, Pink Floyd the Wall. Just a tad. A lot. Hercules is one of my favourites, the Disney's. I introduced you to that movie. No, you didn't introduce me to that one. Hunchback and Notre Dame is a surprisingly good Disney movie. Uh, yeah, Notre Dame's pretty cool. The, Underrated. Uh, I've got to say, the thing I like is uh, the guy, was it Frollo? Oh, yeah, yeah, Frollo, yeah. Yeah, Frollo, it's the same voice actor that was um, uh, the god in Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. The uh, god that brings Raziel back from the dead. Well, 
not the dead, but you know what I mean. When it's he gets like, um, when he gets turned from a vampire into that? a race. Or was that part of the game? Part of the game. Um, uh, I don't know. Sorry, uh, sorry. We got somebody coming over, and my phone was flashing. So I was seeing if they had contacted, and they haven't. So no idea Free where they are. Train. Yeah, no idea where yeah, they are. London transports like. Yeah, we all I know. Shut that. everything the weekend because we're meanies. Yeah, we all know. Londoners know how that feel. Yeah, we all know and can agree that London transport shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, just as a thing, we can leave all leave a comment. <laughs> yeah, let, leave a comment. London transport is shockingly bad, right? Um, <laughs> and if you work on TFL, we apologise. Well, Wolfie does. I don't. What? I'm not going to apologise. Oh, after her, yeah, let's not go into that on YouTube. Bro. Yeah, no, exactly. That's Mad Madam Mim. The marvelous Mad 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 Madam Mim. <laughs> what? I don't like Sword and Stone. That's because you're weird. I don't even like. Is it Archimedes? Archimedes, the yeah, owl. You got. I love oh, birds, crap. don't I? And yeah. yeah, I really don't like Archimedes. You gotta love Archimedes, though. He's it's too awesome. sarcastic. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a problem with sarcasm. Me, sarcastic, never. Yeah, exactly. I beat the marvelous mad, 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 but a mim. <laughs> Who was the other one? Um, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think. Here we go. Here's a comment. Here's, this would be an interesting YouTube comment. Inside thing. the chest, there is an ancient manuscript describing great magic. I wonder what the words will be. Alakazam. If you say Alakazam and then press any one of the buttons, you'll be able to command cards. <laughs> Why didn't they just do different <laughs> like words? Disney jokes. Actually, that could be an interesting comment thing in YouTube. What's that? Most underrated Disney movie. Hercules. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. Never seen it. I love that movie. I'll tell you we only recently saw Tangled. I wasn't a big fan. We still haven't seen Frozen. Uh, yeah, I was recently saw Tangled. Oh, this must be where I can use my magic. Ha ha ha! Oh boy. Um, <laughs> that sounded like Mickey Mouse on crack. I think that was actually the drawn together version of Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not on YouTube. Not on YouTube. No. What's wrong with saying about drawn together? It's a brilliant show. Do you know what? What? Alice in Wonderland. Alice, Alice right? in Wonderland, the Disney movie, it scares me as much as Alice in Wonderland the book. I read the book as a kid. I have been scarred for life ever since. Really? It's ah. it's definitely um Woo. questionable. Uh, I grew up reading Stephen King, so I'm good. <laughs> I will what... openly admit that I've read a lot of books, but not a lot of series. Yeah. Like I read the How to Train Your Dragon book, which is different to the movies. May I add? Um, when yeah, I was you a keep kid. saying to me all the time. <laughs> um. Mm. As a kid. Yeah, you definitely don't complain about the Toothless plushies I get, yeah? No, oh, I love Toothless. I, I like Toothless even before the movies. It's always been my favourite. Oh, um, God, look, look at you, you cool, cool, lad, uh, cool girl. You know, love to Toothless before the movies. <laughs> yeah, I like David Furious before he was Remus in Harry Potter. He wasn't ever anything else. Except possibly a sex slave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry, so I really want that hat. That, what is it, that awkward moment when you watch a film? It's like Leonardo DiCaprio, what the f What's he doing behind Remus? What's he doing? <laughs> I don't know. Ha! That's what he's doing. <laughs> Hole in one. Um, <laughs> <Ew>. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm, be, I'm being gross. Yeah. Uh, I think that was totally clear. Fury, yeah. Fury of Everything was a good movie. Yeah, Fury of Everything was a good movie. All right, pre press me. How am I supposed to... Poor Rex gets dragged to every David Foolish movie. Because of me. Yep. Ah! Order of Numbers, dear. No. Oh, I found a bonus stage. Uh -huh. Mario, was Mario and Zelda have taught me ev anything here. Yeah. It sounds wrong. Push and pull everything in the room. Ha, giggity. Um, Why are you quagmire? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted 2. Can't yes. wait to see that. Me yes. and, me Do we have any fans of Ted on here? Me and Rhett's are quite big fans of Zephyr Farland. It's 2 and 3. I don't know why it's 2 and 3. We like our Zephyr Farland, don't we? Mm. We Seth MacFarlane's actually a really good singer. We have a very wicked, wicked sense of humour. Seth MacFarlane's actually a really uh, good uh, good singer. I mean, it's like, that, um, everybody, I'm sure everybody, even if you don't watch Founder Guy, uh, has oh, pro probably heard uh, somebody doing Shapoopy. That's not actually... <laughs> that sounded wrong, didn't it? Someone doing Shapoopy. <laughs> Shapoopy, 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 the girl who's hard to get. Shapoopy, 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 but you can win her yet. Anyway, I'm mm. sure everybody recognises that tune. What is this, Dizzy Fireworks? But, but the thing is, uh, and loads of people seem to think it's a like, in one. family guy thing. 
And yeah, it was done on Family Guy. It was actually a song. But it was actually done on a musical in like 1962 first. But it's the song that never ends. No, it's not the song that never ends. And it was actually if done. Nobody gets that joke, please. Oh, crap. Yeah, it was actually done in a musical in, I think it was about 1962. Which kind of like shows Seth MacFarlane's uh, age, doesn't it? Um, but he actually, um, I saw a thing recently. I don't know how old he is, uh, but um, yeah, probably. But um, I, was, I actually saw a video recently uh, of Seth MacFarlane doing. My yeah, you try being the one trying to uh, control Mickey through this. Um, Floor makes you feel sick. Yeah, but uh, I actually saw a video recently of Seth MacFarlane. Doing Wait. another song. Um, I can't remember Stupid what the bloody thing. song's called now. Um, she's just gonna keep putting those things. To- yeah. Oh she god, is. she reminds me of um, in Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I'm fairly certain that's not what she's from. Um, at the very end. Hmm. Um, Kamek. Oh yeah. Um, what they do is they put you in a room full of blocks, right. and Kamek shoots the blocks. And she gives you enemy stars, whatever, depending on what she shoots and what colour right. it is. Okay. And she keeps disappearing, but she keeps trying to aim at you all the time as well. And they slow down the camera deliberately yeah. so she can shoot directly at you. Oh, that sounds really annoying, actually. It is. I'll show you it later. It cheese mm. me off. And then, <laughs> spoiler alert, I do this some nice. Um, mm. There's a bit where you obviously face Bowser. Oh, yeah. As, as you That know. fight is really hard. Yeah. Because they have fat Bowser in the background, and Yoshi grabs these big giant eggs off balloons. All right. And you literally have to shoot and kick the eggs into the background. And because he keeps coming forward, if he comes forward too much, he'll destroy the platform you're on and knock you off. Oh, fun. So you have to keep knocking him back. Yeah. But every time you knock him with every couple of eggs, he speeds up until he's so close to you that you literally have to do that. You, they can't. can't see the actions, Sorry. neither can I. Literally, I'm concentrating on this. To, and you literally losing. have to do, like, Bowser's directly, no pun intended, under your nose. Yeah. So you have to shoot the egg literally at his face. Oh, fun. And they also, in the end, what they do is um, they chuck rocks at the mm. main platform and you're left with tiny one platforms. Like, oh, crap, crap, crap. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ah. Oh. No, no, I, I somehow didn't kill myself. Yes, yeah, so you're left with tiny, in, like, inch sized platforms. Yeah. <sighs> Oh. It's like one of the worst Bowser battles in history. It's horrible. It's that good, though. Because the beginning of it mm. is like what well, some people know from Yoshi's story, where you literally just butt stomp the ground and you just hit him like that with the floor. Yeah. And what he does is he jumps off the ceiling, butt stomps the floor, and earthquakes it. So you have no. to hit him three times, and then yeah. Kamek transforms him into this big. Ugh. It's my all time favourite game. You know, I, I wish, I wish you, yeah, the viewers could see the uh, the actions that you do when you talk, Wolfie. I really do because I, I'm only seen them out the corner of my eye, but they are fantastic actions. We, all this grandeur behind them all and everything. I'm a writer; it's a habit. How <laughs> is that a habit for a writer? Okay, I can't... a habit for a writer would be to write down all the actions. I can't vouch. <laughs> I can't vouch for every writer, hmm. but I know this from RPG directory. Bunch of advertising. That um, was blatant advertising. You better get them to advertise us in return. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> on RPG Directory, there is people who agree with me that this is this is true. Animators do it all the time. If you can't think what you're trying to draw or write, you literally phys- get up and physically act it out. I'll just code something I've done it, it loads of times. Like, it's come to a certain scenario. Yeah. Yeah. And in your brain, you're going, okay, if, some, if that scenario would actually happen to someone, how would mm. they react? And I've done... Oh crap! I just skipped the bloody dialogue there. I do apologise. Basically, this is big sadistic bad. Pete is sadistic. Yeah, this is bad. Big bad guy. You can tell that because it's Pete. Um, uh, it's Tigger. It's worse. Damn! I screwed up there. Um, just a little bit. I've just flipping did it again. City I... reps. Yeah. Well, if I die again, I'll be able to put the uh, uh, dialogue. Dialogue back on and hopefully not skip on accident. Silly but, tiger. Yeah, um, <laughs> yes, I'm a silly blue tiger. I know. What? I will. Yeah, that those ghosts. Stop that. That still reminds me of um, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas movie. Yeah. Mhm. Right. I, I screwed up again. Right. Those ghosts. Day. No, I didn't. 
You have done what? Well, you have done well so far, but your adventure ends here. You'll never defeat me. You know, I think it's possibly it's quite right. I don't know if you guys got it, but on because I think the SNES version was slightly different. I don't know. On what? Aladdin. All right. No, we, idea we had a section in Aladdin. Don't quote me hundred percent. to remember from a kid. Yeah. Shut up and let you concentrate. No, it's, it's fine. Um, you get to. Def- I say Jarrett. I kicked his ass. I was about to say Jarrett. I was like, this is a labyrinth. <laughs> um, you get to Jafar. Yeah. And like I said, I don't quite understand. I can't remember. And mm. he turns into that giant snake. The giant snake. Yeah, that is on the. Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, pain in so the ass. hard. Anyway, uh, one second. Amazing. No one has ever defeated me. You are a great magician. As I promised, I'll show you the, uh, my greatest trick: how to escape from my world of illusion. Just say Alakazam. No, I just got... Why is his hand glowing? That's creepy. Because it's magical. So, there we go. That is Red's Play World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And I didn't completely... Fa- well, no, I did kind of mess <laughs> up a fair amount earlier, I think, then I, I, I... That's my fault. Yeah, yeah, we can all blame Wolfie for that, right? It's, it's the blue piñata's fault. Yeah, it's the wolf piñata's fault. Everyone agrees with that? Yeah, it's the little papery piñata's fault that I messed up, Yeah? Yeah? Oh, she's biting me. Yeah. All right, so it's all great. It was Wolfie Pinata's fault. But that was... Fuck her off. Never. So that was World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. I'm going back to my writing. No, you're not going back to your writing. I'm going back to my writing. No, you're not allowed. No. All right. Bye. Bye, Wolfie. All right. So that was World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And... Oh, Wolfie, do you want to grab that? And... Let them know that this is still recording, so if they could... Yeah. Right, uh, sorry, that was the door. Um, so yeah, this is World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. As you can see, I completed it, and there's Pete in the little row. See how many other characters you can get from there. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's the game done. I'm just leaving the credits to roll now, I suppose, so that you can all see who made it, although they only put in, like, last names for some reason. I... Uh, um, some of them though, they look like Thomas Yuda, so you know it's Thomas Yuda and Yulai Big King. I, I don't know, but I'm gonna leave the uh, credits to run because um, you, you, you always... used that bell by now. It still scares me every time. <laughs> can you? Uh, I just think Wolfie. Mm-hmm. Can you let them know I'm still recording? So because I'm just recording the credits so that they can I all see. Well, answer the door and say, oh. all right, thank you. Sorry, um, I say um, I'm someone that's going into games development myself. As some of you, some of you may know. I mean, I've already put two games that I've built myself onto the uh, RedsGamingDays.co.uk website for free. Anyway, um, one of them was Catch Sonic, which is a simple point and click um, Catch Sonic the Hedgehog game that was made in Game Maker, uh, Game Maker Seven, and the other one was a uh, Red's Gaming Days Cluedo um, uh, game done via text, made in Visual Basic C++ programming. So, anyway, um, where I make games, I understand that it's always good for the person, for their name to get out there. Now, I know this game is like 20 years old. Wow, it really is like 22 years old. But even so, I think their name should go out there and that you shouldn't ignore credits. So, that's why I leave it to run for you. And also, you you might want to look up, see what other games they've made. You might want to search by a um, developer, artist, that kind of a thing. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this Red's Play of World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And, uh, yeah, it was fun for me to play. So, thank you all for watching, and good fight, good night. See ya.